Good morning, I'm Joe Martinez from the USS Hornet Sea, Air and Space Museum with another installment of Plain Facts. Today we're stepping in front of my Sea King helicopter aboard the USS Hornet Museum, uh, a helicopter I actually flew in when I was in the Navy, and we're going to talk about the rotor blades a little bit right over here. So, one of the things that's really important with the rotor blade is knowing the structural integrity of that. How do we judge that from the ground? Well, let's talk about the rotor blade itself. This is what a cross section of a modern rotor blade looks like, well, at least on an aircraft like the Sikorsky helicopter. There's a beam in the front, a D-shaped spar that runs the entire length of that rotor blade. That's the structural component of that rotor blade. That's what actually lifts you up into the air. This is all a relatively lightweight shape to create the airfoil. It doesn't have a hell of a lot of integrity as far as strength. It's just here to create that air uh, airfoil. Why is this so important? Because helicopter rotor blades have to be incredibly flexible because as they go around, they move a lot. It's kind of like a noodle. They have to have that flexibility in order to fly and keep that rotary wing working the way it has to. So there's a little device up on the rotor head that helps us out to figure out whether the blade is good or not. Let's go talk about that. So that rotor blade cross section I told you about, that spar that goes in the front is hollow. That's partially to make it lightweight and to give it some flexibility. But what they do is they fill the center of that spar with nitrogen gas under pressure. Why would they do that? Well, what they want to do is do that so we could put an indicator on the front of each blade to tell us whether that gas is still there or not, whether it's structurally sound. And here's one of them, and here's the other one over here on this blade. Notice this one is all one color. That means the gas is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. But if it goes away for some reason, it will barber pull it like this. That means the gas went away. Why? We don't know. Could be because there's a crack in the blade and it's leaked out. Could be ballistic damage, could be a bad BIM indicator. By the way, BIM stands for built-in maintenance. It's a quick and easy way to look from the ground when we're doing a walk-around inspection to see if something's wrong with the blade without ever even getting up on the helicopter. It's one of those great safety little innovations they came up with to protect the crew and uh, so the mechanics could see if there's a problem before we even get out to the aircraft because they do inspections all the time. So. That's our little tidbit today. That's one of our plain facts on this helicopter. So from the USS Hornet Sea Air and Space Museum, we hope you'll come see us sometime. I hope I'll see you on the flight deck.